All right, John Miles here, and I'm going to show how to set up the new chin rest. And there's just five components here, and the first step is to get the base. And this holds the camera support, and this holds the chin rest. So I start with the camera support, and I uh, take the heavy component first, and uh, it goes in like this, and it fits into this dovetail clamp sliding bracket <coughs> called an Arca Swiss clamp. And then uh, once it's in there flush, you tighten this up just snug, hand tight. And that is the height adjustment. And it will show you how many millimeters it's moving. And it's very precise and stable, rock steady. The second component, the middle component, is the focus track. And uh, there's three styles of this. This is the um, four millimeter per turn type, most common. There's also one millimeter per turn. And then I push it in so it's just centered. So there's two centimeters there and two centimeters here. And on the scale it goes from 30 to 150. That's a 120 millimeter clamp. And after it's in there, you just tighten this up like that, nice and snug. Now there's a tension adjustment here, but it's not generally needed. That will affect how firm this is. And you just generally want it straight down at six o'clock. And every turn of this will move four millimeters. And most people have an iris depth of within a millimeter, or well, within a few millimeters. So you generally don't need to turn it more than about one turn, plus or minus one turn. But it's good for all kinds of cameras. The third top component is the lateral slide. And this has a tension adjust knob that faces the camera operator. So it also goes in with the sliding clamp mount. Get that evenly positioned, flush on both ends, and then torque up this knob. And then the camera will slide in here. This fourth component is the chin rest itself, and that also just slides in here into the clamp. It goes right in like that, right so it's flush. And when it is, you torque this up snug. And now you can see I'll bring it up a little closer. Uh, this is a knob for adjusting the chin cup height here. And the way it works is you need to make sure that the person's eye is centered height-wise right at this line, the eye line. That's about 15.5 inches from the top of the base, or about 16 and a half from the top of the tabletop. And so to get their eye here, you have them put their chin here, forehead forward, and then you just adjust this. It's a ratchet, it goes a millimeter for each click until their eye is right there. And then, then you can adjust the tension with this knob, but you just leave that. And next is uh, to attach the camera. So I will show how to attach the camera using the newest model of camera, which is the central and adjustable side lighting with a 45 megapixel Z7. And to do that, I will go get it. <clears throat> the camera comes in this carry case which is uh, 20 inches by 16 inches by 8 inches. And you open it by pushing in the center button like that and then lift the latch like that. And after you open it, the first step is to take the camera out like so and set it down. Second step is to grab the illuminator, which you can hold by this handle here, and lift it straight up and then set that down. This is the new three channel illuminator. And um, the last step that you need is the alignment target and the electronic flash, which I have here. Uh, the alignment target is important for 
getting the angles just right and it attaches with two magnets right there you can sort of see that how that goes so to remove it you just tilt it to one side or you can tilt it up in front and back but it's easier to tilt it to the side and uh, it's designed to allow you to get the lights angled directly at the iris the second part here is this electronic flash which has a battery eliminator because uh, instead of changing the AA batteries there's a, a, a dummy battery with a cord and it just barely fits in there and I just coiled the ribbon way around the AAA till it could come out and then close that gently you don't want it to cr crunch it too much and then that uh, takes a 3 volt power from this adapter here and so that's the entire camera now um, the next step is to mount it and when you have a chin rest when you have a camera like this you want a chin rest because it's pretty heavy these parts each weigh a couple pounds and so when I put it on the chin rest I like to mount the illuminator first and this is a, called a camera mount illuminator rather than a hood mount illuminator and I generally add that later the alignment target but here again it slides into the six inch 120 millimeter track like so and I, I like to start at an angle so I can rest it on that corner and then just barely in and get it even and then slide it straight through and then I check for being flush on both ends with my finger and thumb and when it's properly aligned I just torque this knob up like that and here you can see from a different view this is a very steady chin rest <laughs> and hold big cameras and this is for sliding between right and left eye this is the focus track and once you get it centered height wise and focused in one iris you just slide over about six and a half centimeters to the other iris and it should be properly positioned for resuming your pictures but the next step here is to attach the camera which I like to do after the illuminator because the camera is pretty heavy and it's easier to do the illuminator first so I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to rest this corner on the clamp and then get the other corner in there and then go forward like so and up here we have the center light on a hinging mechanism to make it easy to fit this in but then I torque that down nice and snug and the last part is the electronic flash which uh, slides on here now you can use a battery powered flash too which is um, perhaps simpler for a demonstration here is a battery powered flash and it goes in straight forward with this level so it meets the illuminator and after it is slid in you slide this locking mechanism over to the right where it says lock and um, this is the power switch for the flash and this is the power switch for the camera which we can turn on and um, we can look at the picture in a screen but first I will proceed with the last step of the setup which is the uh, setting the light angles so what I'll do is turn this around here Now get a good angle on that there. So now here the idea is to control the light. We need to make sure it's pointing right at the iris. And the way this target is, that is right with the point that's in focus with the iris. You can see it this angle too. And when you view it from above, you can see what angle the light is on. So I'll start with this side since it's closer to the camera and what I'm going to do to adjust the angle is I loosen just a tenth of a turn or less just just a notch just slightly loosen these three and then it allows me to put the light anywhere I need to even I can even put it way in here if I want and I can put it at 90 degrees here 
I can put it way back here, but you're going to find that it's better to keep the light kind of close, about three inches from the iris. And for a reference position, I use 45 degrees. So right now I'm going to go ahead and set that up at 45 degrees with about a three inch distance from the eye. Now these are all tight here, very firm. And the uh, light is pointing straight at where the iris would be. I can tilt this so you can see here. Yeah. So that's the left side that's perfectly aligned. <clears throat> and then I'm going to show the other side here. And it will be a similar process. Bring this over here. So I just just click it, just a fraction of a turn to loosen it. And then I bring this around. And once again, there's two factors, the distance and the angle. And what I like to do is start off with pictures at 45 degrees. So I'll put this right here and then I tighten those three. And now they're both pointing straight at the iris. And the third one is, in this case, this has a swing down, so you can actually put this at a really close angle, but it's always better to take the lens cap off first. And with this illuminator, the lens cap goes in vertically, so the Nikkor is running vertical. And the pinching, uh, center pinch goes vertical, and there's room right in front of the focusing light here for that. <clears throat> Let's show that from a different angle here. Yeah, that should show up pretty well there, right there. So I just go in here and take the lens cap out. And then I can bring this down really close here. I can bring this down nice. That way the pupil gets, or the reflection goes into the pupil. And there's a second clamping knob up here. I can turn this around again. <clears throat> but here's the upper knob and there's a, the lower knob. Now we have the three, side lighting and center. And they are chosen by moving this position here. And the way that works, <clears throat> you can see it if I take this flash off here. And again, it just slides straight back. And that way you can see how this looks from that angle. And when this is over here, the light will only go through this light guide. When it's in the center position, it will only go to the center. And when it's in this position, it will only go to the left light guide. And that's how you choose which channel to use. And then uh, when the flash is in place right in front of that opening, that will be the source of the light. Much better to get your iris photos with an electronic flash and not a continuous LED. And so now when it has been set up like this, you can um, turn everything on. And uh, one thing I like about this camera is it, that it remembers the focus point of the lens being at 290 millimeters and it will dial that in. And uh, likewise, it will come to a focus right on the target. Now it's not always perfect in alignment, but you can also adjust this uh, camera position um, to center that. There's small variations in the position of the camera on the clamp here due to the rubber interface, which I've left for various reasons. And um, at that point you can see that the light will go right straight to the iris and it will fill the frame. And that is how to set up the chin rest and the camera. And um, this is really the best. The best chin rest, this is $1,200. And the best 45 megapixel iris camera, that's $6,300. And it's ready to use. New for 2022.